Alright, you might be thinking you're going to get a ski video, but you're not. I'm wearing this wonderful math hat, so you're about to get a tutorial on Google Sheets, specifically making a table using the average and quotient formula. Yeah. Okay, so let's make this more fun. We're going to add another tab here, and then we're going to do some more typing assessments. Uh, this will be a word count. We're just going to give the students a one minute, a three minute, and a five minute prompt. Word count. So we come back over here and we pretty much can steal what we have here and hit copy. And then we come back over here and we paste it. And then we clear out all the data that we put in there. We'll keep our average data, I guess, because that will propagate with the right information once we put information into the cells that it needs. Okay, and then what I found is that when students are doing a free write, they come up with pretty similar test results. So we can put 35, so then she would have Okay, so there we go. We have some values again. This should have taken our average of C3 to C5, C3 to 5. You can see that that average repropagated. Our boys average did the same thing. Uh, 7 to 9, 7 to 9, and D, 7 to 9. And then our classroom average, the formula worked for that as well. So that's cool. That stayed right there. So now what we want to do is we want to make another table that's similar to this. All right, I can say copy again, move it over here, and paste it. But this time we want to have our words per minute. So students, words per minute, change the title. Now we have to write a formula. So our woman is going to stay the same. We're going to clear out for these guys here clear out for the guys data here and now we need to write a formula that's a division formula so it's going to be equal sign quotient and then we say that value and comma divided by three so we're taking 80 words over three minutes we're dividing it by three minutes so that we get our words per minute Okay, and then we take that and we drag it out, and we can do the same thing here. Equal sign quotient, and come over and grab Paul's. Oops, we want Paul's one minute. Sorry, Paul. Divide that by three, hit enter, and drag it down. We can see that our averages came over just fine. And we're going to do it again, but for five minutes, equal sign, um, quotient, helps if I spell quotient, white quotient, and we grab at five minutes, and we divide that by five, enter, and drag it down. The other thing is we could drag it all the way down like that, but then we'd have to come back in here and change this to no longer a quotient, but an average. But that's a fine thing because we've already reviewed on that. So we're going to equal sign average. Helps if I spell average, right? Average. Get that in there. And then we say, since we just want the girls, we're going to go from Martha down to Nancy. So I'm going to hit the shift while I do that. And then we get a hyphen in that field. And we hit enter. And then that's fine. Of course, this now needs to be made to be a nice muted purple color so that it matches everything else. Okay, so now we have two tabs, our typing words per minute based off of our typing.com assessment that then we've multiplied by three to give us our estimated word count or total, yeah, word count. That was the right word. And then we have a writing prompt over here. And then on the other side, we've done a 
division formula to figure out our words per minute, which then we can average out. So the next thing we probably want to do is come in and do our average words per minute. So that would just be average. And then we want to say an average words per minute equal sign average, average through that. You see how I did that? G3 through I3, enter. And then we can just grab this one and bring it all the way down. And that's going to give us our data for everyone there, including our averages of our averages. Paul really messed up our average here. Thanks, Paul. OK, so Paul's data looked wrong because it was wrong. So let me show you how to change that. You click on it, and you can either edit it up here. You should probably just edit it up here. Or you can just delete it. You can say, you're wrong. Get out of here. You can select a couple frame cells and delete them as well. So let's just put in the new data quotient. And we want his data at three minutes. Divide that by three. OK, so then that is the right data we can drag that down and then now our averages aren't as funky because they are correct averages thanks paul wow my goodness if that wasn't fun i don't know what is go outside it's not winter anymore e